Welcome to the from the green from the green room. Um, I'm your host. I'm Brian. I'm your guide, and currently joining me is uh, dark rocker artist Dusty Grant. How you doing, Dusty? I'm doing good, man. How are you? Uh, it's been a long day. How's the weather? Yes. And how's the weather in Oklahoma? Uh, I'm actually in Kansas. I'm in oh, Wichita. You're in, you're in Kansas. But I'm yeah, I'm right near there. But yeah, it's about fifty five degrees right now and cloudy and cold. It feels like it's almost winter here. Yeah, that's how, that's how it's been in Indiana too. So it's been raining all day. Yeah, and, the weather's been kind of depressing, quite frankly, around here. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely not uh spring weather. <laughs> and I thought the rain was out of here after April was over, but apparently it, Mother Nature does not uh agree. But, yeah, the tornadoes that you saw in the news were right near where I live. Oh, wow. Tw- maybe 20 miles away from where I live. So Wow. Yeah, we, we dodged some tornadoes and stuff here in the last couple of days. I'm glad everybody's safe, though. Yep. But, so thanks for taking some time out with us and talking. Um, you just recently dropped a video for the track Oceans. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, Oceans is the first song that I wrote with my lead guitar player, Jason Catlett. Um, we formed the band around this time last year and we played a bunch of shows, but then, uh, Jason and I, you know, had always wanted to work together, but he ended up joining the band as the lead guitarist. And he's always somebody that I admired. Mm -hmm. Um, we actually, a close friend of ours was, uh, was killed in a hit and run accident and, uh, you know, a mentor too, somebody that was big in our music scene and stuff like that. And I, I'd experienced some, some friends and some serious accidents and you know i had a couple other friends that you know um were lost also in about the same year so like i started getting everything got pretty dark for me there Mm -hmm. um and it was pretty dark for jason too i think but we got together and this was the first thing that we wrote together um he wrote the music completely separately from me he's like dude i wrote something see if you can put anything to this i'm like i wrote something too i brought it over to his house it meshed really well. We did some changing on the arrangement a little bit and stuff. And that was the demo and, and the version that you hear now. Yeah. I listened to it a couple of times a day. I, I really liked it. Thank you. Um, it's a, it's, it's right up my alley of my type of music. I like to listen to. So, you know, as a, a photographer and, and uh, I'm still pretty new at the interviews and stuff, but I, when I choose my shows to cover, it's mostly metal and rock and, and stuff like that. So I, I kind of like that heavy, heavy hitting stuff. That's kind of my main, yeah, my, my main go-tos as well. Uh, I like a lot of different stuff, but I mean, most, most of the time it's heavy, either hard rock or metal. You know, I like, I like everything, but that's kind of my, kind of my go-to. So what are some of your influences musically? Like how do you get your inspiration and how'd you get it for this song and this album that music that you've been writing? Um, I, you know, I've always, I've said it in a bunch of interviews, but I love Jerry Cantrell. I love Alice mm-hmm. in Chains. Um, I love Nine Inch Nails, System of a Down, a lot of the grunge era bands, you know, Nirvana, right. stuff like that. But I also have always listened to quite a bit of hip hop. Um, and I, I really like 
some country artists as well i think some of the country guys are really good songwriters yeah um so there's a few newer you know country guys guys like whitey morgan cody jinx they really influenced me just because i realized that you could really tell stories and those guys always have such good stories in their songs so i right. you know i kind of but yeah those are those are the main influences i draw from nice and it's always good to have a story to the song that draws people into it you know for sure yeah so are we going to see a full album from you soon or um it all depends you know right now i'm the i'm i'm still working full time um doing all that and pushing the music career and and you know putting a lot of work in we've been working really hard i've been pretty exhausted the last couple of days oh yeah, yeah <laughs> i hear you but uh eventually i think we'll create enough music together that you will um okay. but I, as we write it it will probably get released just because of the way things are now yeah and as expensive as it is to to put out an album i mean it's a it's a long a lot of time a lot of work for mastering mixing all that stuff and that gets pretty expensive um so when you're not touring and bringing in that merch every night you've kind of gotta save up piecemeal it yeah, put it together however you can. Set a budget for it. Oh yeah, and and then just and shoot you the biggest shot you can afford to shoot. <laughs> and that's yeah. kind of what we've been doing. I think that's why a lot of artists master and mix it themselves and and produce it and and release it themselves. You know, I know a lot of local bands around here do that, and it's just a lot easier, probably, and a lot cheaper. Yeah. You know, but then it has that caveat where you don't have a professional. You know producer behind the song or the album or whatever but it still sounds good i think you know you can and yeah you can always tell a good song you know regardless of how good the recording is i think um but though you can definitely tell when the production comes in and all that kind of thing yeah you know what's being mastered mixed by professionals and then there's diy guys i don't think there's anything wrong with that though you know i think mm -hmm. if that's what you want to do that's what you should do because that is you know, it's kind of a drawback sometimes, but the, the, the good thing about all the technology we have and the access we have to distribute and release music ourselves is, a, you know, it's, I look at that as an opportunity um, if you're savvy with your business and stuff like that, you know. Right, and you still can, and, and it, you cut out that middle person of the, um, that gets a cut, you know, you have more for yourself and you can still stream on Spotify and you can still stream on Apple Music I don't know anything how that works, but, you know, I know a lot of smaller independent artists that have all that. So, you know, yeah, um, it's, I mean, it's fairly, the barrier to entry is very easy now to get music up on streaming platforms and things like that. So anybody that wants to record something and put it online basically can, you know, you can sign yeah. up for a distribution service that's 30 bucks a year Oh yeah, or 40 bucks a year. And you can release all the songs you want to release. So how did you get started in music? I'm sure you hear that question a lot, and it's always interesting just just to you know ask the artist how they yeah, got well, started. I, uh, my, I've, I started out singing covers at a party when I was like 19. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I played one semester of college football, and I, we had been kind of jamming after my senior year of high school and just kind of messing around with stuff, and we'd play a little bit of stuff at parties. But then I left for school, and I was like, when I get back to town, we should seriously start a band, you know what right. I mean? And so we did. And it was a, it was like a rap rock project. It was back during the days of like Limp Bizkit and nice. stuff like that. <laughs> um, and, but we had some success and I, I just got a real taste for, you know, trying to write songs. And back then I was very, very green, mm -hmm. um, but I've worked hard at it for years and years and years and years. And, and, uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of how I started out playing at those parties. And then it turned into shows and then it turned into I came down here and I've been in bands pretty much ever since I was 19 or, wow. or working on my solo stuff nice. on and off. You know what I mean? Right, right. So you've you've done a lot of solos. I've read that you did a lot of solo stuff prior to this song that you just released. Yes, this is this is the first um, this is the first full band song that I put out right everything else i'd done up to this point was singles and i did put out one ep solo and i started out doing that in 2017 mm -hmm. and it was just last year that i started playing with the full band right so and now that covid's kind of on the i say that it's kind of on the downfall which 
We hope. Uh, we hope. But <laughs> the show that I was supposed to cover tonight, Three Days of Grace, got canceled because somebody tested positive for it. So, it, oh, which sucks. But it is what yeah, it is. You know, that's a bummer. Um, for me, live music, I was so like sad that it was not around. And when it came back, it's. I mean, I live three minutes from the main venue that has all the shows I cover. So it's nice. I'm so glad it's back. And I'm sure for an artist like yourself, you were probably going through withdrawal too. Oh yeah. I know. I mean, we played two shows this weekend and I'm withdrawing from that already. <laughs> you know, it, right. it, it's, it's fun. The live, the live experience, there's just nothing like it. Right. Right. And, and playing, playing with the people that you play with playing music that you're passionate about and you playing with people that take it seriously and are into it. And it's like, man, this is, this is magical. <laughs> and and the, no matter how many live streams you do or whatever technology you have, it never substitutes for that. Right. There's just something show. for me as a photographer, I, I haven't been to a show. I haven't paid to see a show except for like once or twice with my wife and, in the last five years and but it's hard for me now to go as a fan and sit there and have to and without being up in the pit and being up close to the stage and taking pictures i i get all antsy and anxious because i went to a show there at night just to go over there and i was like i can't do this i want to i want to be up there and taking pictures i'm sure it's like that for you do you go to live shows and watch as a fan can you sit there and like i wish i was on that stage playing uh, i mean i always think that I mean, I always think how would I like I went and saw Jason Isbell. He's a mm -hmm. Americana artist. You know, he's been phenomenal. And it was it was after we'd done two shows. So we did a show Friday night in Wichita and we did mm -hmm. a show Saturday night in Fort Smith. Gotcha. And then Sunday I went to, I forgot that I'd bought my wife tickets to the <laughs> concert, like back for I think it was for Christmas. And so I'm like, oh, you know, we have that concert Sunday night too. I'm like, this is gonna be a weekend filled with music. But I was kind of wiped when I went to the concert and I, the, I, I total fan, you know, it was total mm -hmm. fanboy experience. I was right. like just in awe of the sound and the environment and the performances and all that stuff. I mean, you could tell that it was extremely polished and those guys are all absolutely incredible artists. So. Right, right. Yeah, it, it's live music. There's nothing like it. Not a lot of people understand that. Like, I know people that are, they just don't like live music because they, for whatever reason, but I'm like, how could you not like live music? It's I've gone to so many shows and, and before I even became a photographer and I was, I would go to shows all the time, you know, and, and uh, I just always liked live music over, it could, you know, oh, same as you, I could, I could never, I mean, I, I turn down more shows than I want to just cause I can't go to everything, but mm -hmm. there's been so many shows running around now cause everyone's touring so hard. Where I'm like, I got I four. Good I got four this week. Night. Yeah, tomorrow night I'm going. The radio, the local radio station is having their birthday show, Breaking Benjamin and Seether and uh, Star Set and, and Lacey Sturm. And then um, Thursday night I got Vera Union. And nice. then Saturday I got Escape the Fate. And then Sunday I got Nita Strauss. So, Man. like, four, like, during the week it's hard but because I work early in the morning, but I, I still half these young guys I work with they don't ever want to go to a concert. I'm like, Hey, I got tickets. You guys want to go? No, it's a weekday. I'm like, what? I'm 43 years old and I'm going to four shows a week. You're 20. My yeah, what's son. wrong with you? Yeah. What the heck? You should be partying all night, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. When I was that age, I could do it every night. It didn't yeah. matter. I'd bounce right back. Now yeah. I'm the same. I work early, so I got to be selective a little bit. Well, I guess it's almost bedtime for me. Like normally, my wife's still at work, so normally we go to bed early because she's a nurse and she gets up early. So, um, but, so twenty-two's still got a lot of time. So, what can we expect from Dusty Grant? Um, I'm hoping to book some more shows. I'm working on a couple things right now, but I'm trying to be careful with how I book and stuff like that because we have a lot of stuff we want to do um, in the studio. We've yeah. got singles to record we've got a single and we've already got another single ready recorded we're going to shoot awesome. video for, we're going to shoot video video for it in uh, may 13th nice. um, in st louis so we're, we'll go up there shoot the video once we get back and get the edit i'm gonna release that shit awesome. probably in june um as soon as i possibly can to right. make soon to where we have all the assets and stuff like that but yeah i'm gonna we're gonna launch another single we've got a cover that we're working on 
um we've got another single after that so i awesome. i would love i would love to put out four songs this year yeah um, and play as many shows as we can and stay as busy as possible so are you going to be on any kind of tours or anything nothing yet no nothing we yet. did two we did two shows with blackstone cherry okay um and they were amazing yeah and those guys are amazing and they put on an incredible show um and you know i would love to get on something but you've got booking agents and stuff like that and i'm an independent artist i do yeah. most of it myself right um so i don't may not have the connections to booking like stuff like tours and things like that and honestly i think it would be hard for us all to go out yeah it probably is i mean you gotta weeks right now can't quit you, you, have to, you can't just up and quit your job and and no. leave your family you know it'd be that that's that's one of the things i you know would struggle with myself if if I got a call saying, Hey, come on tour with us to be the photographer. I'd be super excited, but I'd have to like, you know, choose. If it made sense. Yeah. If it made, yeah. I mean, if it made sense, if, if it made sense. Yeah. But other than that, it's like, you can't throw your career and your whole mm -hmm. life away no. to go on some suicide mission where you're not even <laughs> sure if you're even going to make money. Right. You know? So uh, I think it makes a lot more sense for artists that are a little bigger or more established. Um, but I don't, I don't think we're, I think we're there, but we, we would need to get the right opportunity. It's like, I kind of feel yeah. like we're at a point right now where one connection could really push us to the next level. Yeah. Um, but I don't have that one connection yet. And I'm just trying to reach people one by one by one and playing and working hard and trying to put out good shit and right. hope that hope that someone sees how hard i work and how passionate i am about it oh yeah and, and how we all are you don't have to rush it either you know it's it's no. it's not um something that you want to rush because you want to put like you said you want to put out the good product you want to put out a good song that people want to listen to and, and and they get something out of it you know anybody can put out a song as there's a lot of people that shouldn't be putting out songs obviously but yeah, um, I mean, anybody can put put out a song. Like you said, it's so easy right now to put out a record it and, you know, put it out on streaming services. But not everybody wants just to listen to any just normal song, you know, you want. No, and it's hard to it's hard to separate yourself. There's so much stuff coming out. So many people putting out music, like you said, maybe some that shouldn't be putting out music. Right. However, there's no barrier to entry, just like we were talking about how it, it's a, it's a benefit, it's a blessing, but also a curse. You right. Know? Right. Um, so you've got to think like the, my mindset is what can I do to make it stand out? Um, can I, I, I would like to surprise people with professionalism and with, I would like to surprise people with really good production and have mm -hmm. them be like, man, this, I can tell you guys put a lot into this. Right. Like, right. Right. I get the pumping six songs out a year or two for people that can do that and right. have time to do that. I'm like, go for it. I, I, so in a way, I'm jealous. I wish I could just work on me all the time. Right, right. But, you know, it's you got to make it work for you. And you're right. Like, you, I, I mean, it has to be good or no one's going to listen to it. There's a ton of songs on Spotify with no streams. Right, right. It's probably just people that just want to make a song. and But um, so... Where can people find you if they want to stream your music, um, check you out, got to uh, find out information about you, where your shows are going to be if they're in that area? Uh, website is a great resource, dustygrant.com. Okay. It's got links to everything on it, um, but I'm on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music, Deezer, Tidal, Amazon. Okay. Um, Pan we just recently got added to Pandora. I'm trying to get it on everything, and you can always order singles and stuff like that from the website but yeah the, the website and then you can find me on all all streaming platforms all social media you should be able to find me if you search dusty grant awesome so i'm i try to make it so i'm fairly easy to find okay awesome well we look forward to seeing what you have to come out in the future um thanks again for taking some time to join us and i know you got a podcast in a little bit so i'll let you go and uh, so you can get ready for that and right good, good talking with you man let's do it again sometime Yes, sir. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for the opportunity to come on. Oh, no problem. Thank you.